Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'm nervous this morning, <laughs> as I am usually. And yes, I have to apologize, but hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. It's because I'm so busy this week, I had to just steal Joe's stuff that he did last week. <laughs> so you're going to get a lot. No, it's not exactly the truth. <laughs> I am taking part of your stuff. i got to admit, for those of you that were here last week, Joe, pre Joe, spoke, spoke, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Joe spoke about your identity and identity theft. Yes. And it kind of took me down a road. Yeah. And it made me just think about stuff. And Joe, if you had a follow-up sermon to that... Okay, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't stealing your thunder from something in the future. But, okay, okay, okay. So... But before I do, I've got to sh I need to share something with you guys, something that I, I found, uh, I read, and I just, I just wanted to share it with you because I thought it kind of helped set the tone a little bit for what I want to speak about today. And it's from uh, a not too famous writer. He goes by the name of Topolsky. Topolsky, whatever that is. It goes, to believe or not to believe, that is the question. Whether tis nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of unfaithful men, or to take arms against a sea of temptation, and to oppose to end them, to die to self so that I might live, no more, no more trapped by the world, so that my eyes may see and my ears may hear. <laughs> devoutly to pray, to die to sin, to be raised with Christ. <laughs> For in the sleep of death, the rewards that come, those we, those we who have suffered from this mortal life, freedom in Christ has been found. We must give praise, for Christ was sacrificed for all, and all my sins have been washed away, and thus I remain faithful till death. And when we think about, when I thought about what to say, I feel like I'm, I'm preaching to the choir. I mean, because I don't want to brag, but I think this is a pretty good group of Christians. Amen. It's amazing that we're as small as we are, but if people come in, they get to see the love that we have. Mm -hmm. But that, but, but, but as I move forward, you know, that to believe or not to believe, to believe or not to believe, because there are people that don't believe in God. They don't believe in Jesus. They don't believe in the sacrifice. That, that's their choice, unfortunately. It is their choice. Because I've got good news and bad news for everyone here. I've got good news and bad news. Do you want the bad news first or the good news first? Good. You want the good news first? Bad. bad. The bad. How many want the bad news first? Okay, it looks like majority. I knew that was going to go. That's how I wrote it. <laughs> okay, the bad news is there is a hell. The good news is there's a heaven, and we know that. Believe it. And even though many of you grew up hearing or being taught, because I know I hear it from Stephanie and after made some more made some comments, you, you grew up going to church, taught, no matter what you did, you're going to hell. You can't do anything. You cannot do anything about that. That's kind of true, though, to a point. Jesus did it all. That's right. Amen. But because he did it, he paved the way for you to go to heaven. He created a new path. He created, so all you have to do is follow him, accept him. Because judgment is going to come. You have heaven or hell, but you can make it to heaven. You can. And I, and I, I mean, I thought about this, and I thought about, you know, I, 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 I okay, personally, I got to tell you, I look forward to going to heaven. Yes. This world does nothing for me. And honestly, I have a good life. I do. 
But the thought of not worrying, the thought of being surrounded by love, the thought of being with my Savior and getting to thank Him, that motivates me unbelievably. But I also know that I've made mistakes, guys. I'm not perfect. I never will be. Right? Well, I think I will be made perfect when I go to heaven. That's what I think. But when you go to, up to Pearly Gates, you know, and you're standing in front of St. Peter, and he opens up the book of life, and he says, Oh, Keith! Keith! Let me... Oh, Keith! Oh, that's done. Nice. You know, this is what I think. I think I'm Tim Shalansky. Oh, Tim, Tim. Okay, let me look you up. Oh, Tim Shalansky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because of the mistakes I've made, but it's still I accept Christ. I believe in Christ. I have accepted Him. I know. Doesn't matter. He might be like, hmm. Hey, come on in, Tim. Okay. Because Christ paid my price. That's right. Christ. And, and that's another thing that I think that's interesting. The, the, the myth that people that go to church think they're perfect. And I think, how do we let others know that is opposite of the truth? We know we've made mistakes. We know we're not perfect. That's why we're here. And when I start to steal Joe's information, this is where I get it to, because I want to talk about how we identify as a, as a Christian. Because we need to be identified as Christians, and we need to protect it, like Joe talked about last week. But I also want to tell you about identifying. I saw a picture. It's this Dodge, big Dodge diesel truck, right? <laughs> big Dodge diesel truck. And it's parked in an electric car parking spot. And in the tailgate, he's got some something stuck to his tailgate where he's got the plug hooked in like he's charging. And with a sticker on the bottom of his truck says, Identified as a Prius. <laughs> <laughs> Which brings me to... <laughs> How in this world, and everyone will relate to what I'm about to say, you can identify as anything you want. Isn't that the, isn't that the way this world is? You can, I, I mean, there are some crazy things you can identify as, and we all know the stories. How are you identifying? And have you heard the latest one about the female boxer in the Olympics? How the female boxer, who's a dude, <laughs> was fighting in the women's stuff. The women, the, the lady, he was fighting, quit after like 46 seconds. Said, I'm done. I've never been hit that hard. Because it was a man that was identifying as a woman. It's a mess out there, guys. So we have to be identified and identifiable as Christians. And I, like I said, I know I'm preaching to the choir. But how, how can I put this? Can we ever hear it too many times, what we need to do? No. No. Until death, we remain faithful. Until death, we follow Christ. Until death, we study. Acts 11, 2, 11, 26. For an entire year, they met in the church and taught considerable numbers and disciples, and they were called Christians. They were called Christians. I know it also refers to us as saints. But in the world, out in the world, if you say you're a saint to somebody, they might be like, what? But if you say you're Christian, it does have a different acceptance in the world. They know Christian. So that's what I'm going with, is being a Christian. And can others, how do others identify us as Christians? How? And I've got to tell you, that the listening, because I, I always listen intently to what's going on in a Bible study and, and stuff like that, and just what's being said. And the song, Before I Came Up, made me think. 
we talk about this morning all the the charitable ways of helping people right that's how they can learn hopefully you're a Christian because whether you like it or not going out and being with with bugs and whatnot going out and and being around people that have drug problems that might be kind of hard to deal with by doing it believe it or not you are glorifying God because we constantly how often do we pray I want to glorify you Lord I want to praise you how by doing the work that's where that song came in it's doing something you did something you're doing something it's not just saying the word it's not please lord i want to i want to praise you and glorify you and then i go do something that has nothing to do with helping show your identity as a christian to the world as a christian you show up to church right We want to identify. We identify easily with each other. We know we're called Christians. What makes us Christians? We worship God. That must mean we believe in God. Right? Mm -hmm. We believe the gospel. We go to church Sundays. We repent of our past sins doesn't mean we're going to not sin again. God knows we're going to. But we repent and we try and move forward. Have others seen a change in you since you identified as a Christian? Can people tell you've changed? Have you grown? By, the only way you grow is by, guess what? Doing the work, doing something. And that's why I said I kind of feel a little bit like I'm preaching to the choir because we're pretty good at studying and loving each other. Are you willing to confess to others the faith you have in Christ as the one and only Son of God? Do we talk openly about our faith with, our faith with others? Once again, how can we be identified as a Christian? Because you live your life, you, you think, oh man, they're a pretty nice person. I wonder if they're Christian. Mm -hmm. Well, it's because there's, there's something that you sense. The way they live, the way they act, the way they speak. When you leave out this door and go out into the world, have you changed your identity and put on a different identity? Or have your, are you maintaining your Christian identity? That's the thing. I, I spend some, some time with people outside. You know, they come to the Bible study, and I know some of you pretty well, better than others. And I got to tell you, the more time I spend with those with like mind, the better I feel. I, I just, it just think about those TV shows. You turn it on, and all of a sudden, you think, oh, I got a found a shooter. And then you hear the F bomb, F bomb, F bomb, F bomb, F bomb. Like, turn the channel. I can't turn it fast enough. Mm -hmm. Because I've learned I don't like that sound. Mm -hmm. And that's what I think when, I, when, my, when I'm surrounded by my fellow brothers and sisters, my Christian brothers and sisters, even those that are a member of a different Christian organization. I'm hoping they maintain a certain criteria of life of how they live and how they present themselves. We've also been baptized. We've been immersed. How do others know? Hey, I've been baptized. I got a t-shirt. Been there, done that. <laughs> but it's one of those things. I, and I'm just here to try, hopefully, help us think what more we can do. Because we have to. And we, be, we practice, practice until we're dead. <laughs> We keep practicing. And Scott keeps saying up here, you know, we practice. And I want to think and I want you to think about it. we do practice. I want to ask you a question. You everyone knows about professional athletes, right? They're they're paid millions and millions of dollars. Do they go to practice? 
They go to practice. Well, they're the best of the best. They go to practice to prepare for the game. Every time you are here with others, every time you come to church, when you study with others, when you find yourself working to gain your wisdom, your knowledge in the Word, you're practicing preparing yourself for the game. <laughs> the game in where you get to show you're a Christian out in the world. You're preparing yourself. We love Christ as He loved us, and He loved everyone, including His enemies. We love. Once again, man, preaching to the choir, we honor God in how we live our lives. It's not just words. It's our actions. We identify as Christians. And in this world where you can identify as anything you want, it becomes even more important for us to maintain, protect that identity. This is where I'm stealing from Joe's stuff, that identity. <laughs> to believe or not to believe. That's a question. But is it really? To me, there is nothing but to believe. Mm -hmm. To believe. Identify as a child of God, a follower of Christ, a Christian, and thus glorify our Father in heaven. In 1 Corinthians 6.20, For you have been brought, bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body. How can we do it? Believe or not believe, there is no question. Believe. God is and always will be. And His Son is the only way to heaven. You know, most of you probably, that reading that I wrote had a certain sound to it. And, and this, Topolsky, I think, borrowed it from another, another writer you may have heard of, I think his name is Sheikh Ispari. <laughs> Shakespeare. <laughs> and the person that wrote that, Topolsky, does anyone know what my middle name is? Paul. What's my first letter of my first name? <laughs> T. Paul Ski. <laughs> I, I, I wrote it. Yes, I stole it from him too. I was in a stealing mood. Please forgive me. I'm asking for forgiveness. <laughs> but to believe or not to believe, to believe in God or not to believe is your choice. To be faithful or not to be faithful. It is your choice to take on the name of Christian is your choice to take on the role of saint is your choice God has given us the freedom to choose but there is no choice accept it be a member be a Christian Choose wisely, identify as a Christian. Do not be ashamed to let others know that you identify as a Christian. Let everybody know. And I thought about this. I was going through this. I said, oh, I'm going to get a t-shirt made. It says, I identify as Christian on the front. I'm, I'm serious. I'm thinking about this. I'm going to figure out some way to do this. And on the back, it's going to say, hear, believe, confess, repent, be baptized, accept identity as Christian, live faithfully. Amen. How can I let others know? How can I be bold walking down the street and not even have the opportunity to talk to somebody like some of you are really good about going out there and doing things for others? I'm just a guy who's on A to B path. Well, someone's going to read my shirt because everyone reads those shirts that people wear. 
and I can identify as a Christian. And you know what? If someone wanted to come talk to me about it, I'm good with that. Amen. I want to be bold, and I do not want to be ashamed to verbally tell the world how I believe in Christ. He is the Son of God. I accept His sacrifice. I accept the help of the Spirit that has been left to help me. I accept God. I want to glorify Him. And the only way I can do it is by working to do something. I cannot do it sitting, doing nothing. And that's what I want us to all think about. We identify as Christians. Let's let others know we identify as Christians. Mm -hmm. And like I said, preaching to the choir, I know a lot of you do, a lot of you guys are way better people than me. That's why I said St. Peter's going to be going like this at me when he's looking at the book. You did that? Well, for you, you took, you accepted Christ. And that's what will save the world. If, it's, if there's anyone here this morning in need of prayers to help them be stronger Christians, to help them be willing to identify as Christian, who's yet to be baptized and accepted that one true way to get to heaven, if you're in need of anything, please come forward as we now stand and sing. Would you be free from your burden?